a better title for my part of this presentation, I'll keep it very short, I know we're, wait, we're gonna go to lunch here in a second, should be the Arizona Experience Improving a Pavement Preservation Program. A couple years ago, I was doing a district tour and our district engineers kept showing me pavements that were too far gone. I couldn't put a chip seal on these pavements. It was a waste of money. But these pavements were in too good a shape to do a rehab and it was gonna be many years or never that these pavements would ever be milled and replaced or rehabbed. So the district guys were left with the task of trying to keep these pavements alive. And it started bugging me. It really, really started bugging me. So the question formulated in my mind, what do you do with a pavement that is in too poor a shape for a surface treatment, but in too good a shape for a rehab? Historically, ADOT would just walk away and let it die. We don't have the money to rehab everything anymore. So I created a, a life extension program to address some of those pavements. And we're already starting to, to get those. So on those pavements, we go in and we, we, we fix the 30, 20 to 30 percent of the bad pavement. We mill and replace spot repair two to three inches deep. And we do a surface treatment on the rest. And we're hoping for 10, 12, maybe 15 year lifespan. But it preserves the investment that ADOT has made in this pavement. We've already paid for it. It doesn't make sense, financial sense, to go through and let it die. And this is something that I've become a champion on, and I, I preach this to anybody at ADOT that will listen. We can't let the pavements die. We have an alternative. And so we're doing this now. We've got keep seals going down. We've got bonded overlays going down. We're working on a project to do, uh, we've got a, a road that's high, that has a high IRI. We're going to be doing some diamond milling on it. Diamond mill it, spot repair it, and we're going to put a TR plus rubber chip on it. And so we're trying to attack these pavements that typically, historically, would die and we'd end up spending five, ten million dollars to fix them in the future. That is my contribution to improving our culture at ADOT, is attacking a problem that existed but nobody really had found a solution to. It, it struck a chord with upper management. Our state engineers love this idea, they're pushing it more and more because they know that these roads had very little chance, if ever, of ever being part of our rehab program. We were really good at pay, uh, rehab and surface treatment, but is that gap in the middle that we really never touched, and that has we're, we're putting a stop to that. We're we're attacking those pavements now. That's it. That's my presentation. <laughs> so. uh, the preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.